Hello friends, welcome to Oracle 23C new feature video series. In this video, we are going to learn about another new feature that is about direct joins for update and delete statements. So here is a snippet from Oracle documentation. As you can see here, from 23C onwards, as part of the update and delete statement, we can join the target table in the update and delete statement to other tables using the from class. So to understand this better, I'm just going to show you a scenario first in SQL Server database. Then I'm going to show you exactly the same scenario in Oracle 21C database. Then I will show you exactly the same scenario in Oracle 23C database so that we'll be able to understand this feature better. Let us start with SQL Server. So I've connected to SQL Server database. First, let me show you the version I have connected. I have connected to Microsoft SQL Server 2022 version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create two table, a department table and an employee table. First, let me drop and create these two tables first. I'm creating the department table with three column, department number, department name and location. Then I'm creating a table called employer underscore T with four column, employee number, E name, department number and department name. I'm populating few employees into the employee table. Four employees I have populated. Let me first query from the table. As you can see here, we have populated four employees like Ravi, Scott, Kavin, Arun, and they are working in two different department, department 10 and 20. I intentionally kept this column null because we are just going to update this department name reading from the department table. Fine. Now let me populate the department table. So I've just populated department table with four department. Okay, let me query the department table also. As you can see here, we have populated four department. Now let me show you both the uh, tables. So as you can see here, we have two table, one uh, employee table with four employees. They are working in two different uh, departments, 10 and 20. And department table is having four department and a name corresponding to each department. Okay. Now the expectation is we need to read the department name from department table and then we need to update the department name into the department name of employee table. So for that we can write update statement in multiple ways. So in this video, we'll see two different ways. Let us start with the very first way. So here is the very first way of update. So in this update, I'm using the correlated subquery to read the department name from department T table based on the department number join from employee table. So basically what this correlate update will do is it will read for every row in the employee table. It will read the corresponding department numbers, department name, and then it will update back in the employee table. Right. By that way, it will just read the accounting and it will update against the department 10 rows and it will read the research and it will update against the department for 20. First, let me just execute this update statement. As expected, it is updated successfully. Now let us query and check whether it is actually updated. As you can see here, now it has updated the department name. Right. Now let me update the department name again to null and I will show you the another way of updating. So here is the another way of updating. Now you can see the difference between the first update and the second update. In the first method, we are actually using the correlated subquery. In the second method, I'm directly using a join from a department table. So now let me just update this statement. Now this is updated. Okay, before updating, let me just update the department with null. I'm just querying the employee table. As you can see here, now the department name is null. Now I'm using the direct join method to update the employee table. Now all the four rows are updated. Let me again select from the employee table. As expected, now the department name column in the employee table is updated with the right department. Okay, now we have actually seen two methods of update. We will try exactly the same scenario in Oracle, but before that I just want to show you two more statement about a delete. Suppose I, okay, let me again query from the employee table. Let me query from employee as well as department. Suppose if my expectation is to delete all the employees who is working in the New York location. Okay. So basically what we will do, we will first find the departments corresponding to New York and then we will delete the employees who is working in that particular department. Right. For that also, we can write the delete in multiple ways. I will show you two different ways. So here is one method of deletion. So here I'm using the correlation delete. So basically what we are doing is deleting from the employee where the department number in select from the department 
based on the correlation join and then based on the location new year right now if we delete like this basically the uh, inner query will return the department having the location as new year then for that department from the employee table we are deleting right let me execute it two records are deleted suppose if i want to uh, delete from other location but i want to write another method of deletion so here is the next method of deletion so the difference between this method and this method uh, second method is in the first method i am using the correlation delete in the second method i am using a direct join delete so let me execute the second method so here we are deleting the employees who is working in boston basically we have deleted all the employees so let us just query from the employee table initially there were four employees two people working in uh, as part of the new york location and two people working as part of the boston location but we have deleted so the key learning here is we actually saw two different methods of delete one using a correlation delete and another using a direct join delete similarly we have actually seen two methods of update like one using a correlated update and another method using the direct join update now let us see exactly the same scenario in oracle 21c database so here i have actually connected to two different versions of oracle database in the left side window i have actually connected to oracle 21c database and in the right side of the window i have connected to oracle 23c database first let us try exactly the same scenario in oracle 21c then i will show you exactly the same scenario in oracle 23c right now let us execute this statement in oracle 21c database i am dropping and recreating the department table first then i am dropping and recreating the employee table yes both the tables are created i am populating the employee table first four records are populated let me query from the employee table yes all the four records are there with department name column as null now i am populating the department table with four department informations are populated let me query from the department table right now all the four departments are available in department table right now we will see the two methods of update whatever we have seen exactly in the sql server database the first method is using the correlated update so let me execute the update statement as expected four rows are updated now let me query from the employee table as expected the department name is updated correctly right now i'm just going to update the department name as null again so that we can try the second method of update now i'm going to show you the next method of update using the direct join so as you can see here till the previous version of oracle we will not be able to update using the direct join in fact this is the new feature which is available from 23c onwards which we will see in the 23c database in a while okay before that let us try the delete statement also now let me query from the employee table again as you can see all the informations are there but before that let me update the uh, department name again, again using the previous update itself right now let me query back the employee table now let us try the two delete statement the first is using the correlated delete or correlated subquery way of deletion it is actually deleting two records who are working as part of a department which is as part of the new york location now i am trying to delete using the direct join delete so till the previous version we will not be able to delete using a direct join this is the new feature available from 23c onwards okay now let us try exactly the same thing from 23c okay now i am going to exa execute exactly the same scenario in 23c database i am just dropping and recreating the department table then i am dropping and recreating the employee table right now i am inserting the data into employee table let me query from employee table all the informations are there without a department name so next i am populating the department information into department table let me query from department table right let us see the first method of update using the correlated update yes it is executed successfully four rows are updated let me query from the employee table as expected the department name is updated properly now let me update the department name again null in the employee table so that we can try the next direct join update so now i am updating the direct join now as you can see here it is updating four rows now if we see in 21c database this update from line number 42 to 45 right this will give you as error i am executing again in 21c as a, as you can see here sql command not properly entered 
However, exactly the same update if you try in 23C onwards, we will be able to see the direct update that is an update with a direct join with the target tables will work properly. Okay. Now let us try the uh, delete statement also. Okay. Now here is the first delete which is using the correlated method. It is deleted to record. Now here is the next deletion which is using a direct join with the tar target table. I am executing the delete statement. As you can see here, it has deleted the remaining two rows. However, if we try exactly the same thing in 21C, it will not work because this direct join feature is available from 23C onwards. So here is the query for your reference from 23C onwards. As you can see here from 23C onwards, we can directly join the target table in the from class as part of update and as part of the delete statement. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video.